Welcome to the Biohacking Beauty Podcast, where we explore the cutting edge of skin health innovation. I'm your host, Amitai Eshel, co-founder and CEO of Young Goose, the world's first biohacking skincare brand, bringing you in-depth conversations with industry leaders and innovators who are redefining beauty with breakthrough products and methods. Today, I'm really thrilled to introduce Catherine Ernston. Uh, She's the founder and CEO of Energy Bits. Catherine's uh, inspiring journey began when when her sister's breast cancer diagnosis led her to the power of nutrition and particularly the incredible potential of algae, an overlooked superfood with exceptional nutritional benefits. Uh, With Energy Bits, She's on a mission to bring the powerful benefits of this superfood to the, to the mainstream, offering algae tablets that are toxin-free, non-GMO, and packed with 64% protein and 40 vitamins and min- minerals. Uh, and that's a product that we take personally. Our key takeaways from today's conversation will revolve around the understanding of the potential of algae as a powerful addition to our diet exploring its role in supporting optimal health and its specific impacts on skin health. And that's because algae, uh, despite being overlooked, is a powerhouse of nutrition and its impact on skin health is significant. Uh, So in today's episode, we delve into how this often often underestimated superfood can boost our skin health from the inside out helping us understand why it is crucial in the biohacking beauty toolbox. But before we dive into our conversation with Catherine, I want to share a review from one of our valued biohacking beauty listeners. So uh, they are writing, uh, I've been following the biohacking beauty podcasts podcast for quite some time now, and it never ceases to amaze me. The depth of knowledge, the innovation, and the cutting-edge content is truly unparalleled. As someone who is deeply passionate about skin health and the potential of biohacking, this podcast feels like a treasure trove of invaluable insights. Every episode introduces me to new concepts, methods, and products. Amitai does an incredible job interviewing industry leaders and innovators, breaking down complex ideas into digestible and engaging discussions. Excited to continue this learning journey with Biohacking Beauty. So thank you very much for that amazing uh, review. Um, It's important for me and for us here at uh, the Biohacking Beauty and Young Goose in general, for you to know that your feedback is so important to us. So if you haven't done so already, we would greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, wherever you are consuming uh, this podcast. Uh, Even a one-word review helps us uh, reach more people. Uh, So your support is instrumental in the growth of this podcast and our ability to educate more people on the cutting edge of skin health innovation. But okay, now now, uh, let's, uh, let's get into today's episode uh, with Catherine Ernston. All right, Catherine, thank you for joining us on uh, Biohacking Beauty. Oh, wow, Amate, anytime. You got my two favorite words put together in the same sentence, (laughs) (laughs) biohacking and beauty. (laughs) Exactly, yeah. So maybe you could start by sharing uh, the story of how you came across algae and uh, and some of its health benefits. Sure. Well, I, yeah, it's kind of a specialty. When uh, I tell people I didn't pick algae, it picked me. Um, I'm actually Canadian and, and um, I had, had had done an MBA and was had a corporate career, 25 year corporate career, and then. Um, 15 years ago, my younger sister, who still lives in Canada, developed breast cancer. Um, mm-hmm. First of all, I want people to know she completely healed, and we celebrate her being wow. every every year. Um, but as she was preparing for her chemotherapy, her oncologist told her she needed to change her diet to an alkaline diet because it would help with her healing. They didn't tell her what an alkaline diet was or specifically why it was important. So she called me, her big sister, who loves her, and I'm just a good researcher, so... Hey, I was doing international business. I knew nothing about nutrition. And 
many of your listeners may not may be in that same situation. They may not know much about nutrition, but mm -hmm. uh, the science is there. So I said, I have no idea, but I'll find out. And I did. And it turned out an alkaline diet was mostly a plant-based diet because of the chlorophyll and the phytonutrients mm -hmm. that have been um, proven to build your immune system. So she changed her diet. She went through chemo. She completely healed. I learned about plant-based nutrition, saw how powerful it was. Nobody was talking about it 15 years ago. I thought I could, uh, I needed to uh, take advantage of my new knowledge and help others be, uh, also be healthy. So I gave up my corporate career, went back to school, studied nutrition, tried to get people to eat more vegetables, found out it was too much work. So yeah. uh, I dug back into everything I'd found for my sister and, and uh, to try to find a way to make it easy for people to get plant-based nutrition. And that's when I found algae. It turns out it's the most concentrated nutrition in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. NASA says it has a thousand times more nutrients than any other fruit or vegetable. It's been endorsed by the United Nations for almost 50 years as the answer to world hunger because it has the most protein in the world. It's been used for 50 years in Asia. Uh, the Japanese don't leave their house without taking chlorella algae and we know how beautiful their skin and hair is. Yeah. Um, and it's just not known outside of Asia um, because we don't grow it here. So um, when I saw all the benefits, and we're going to talk about some of them today, and all the science, there's 100,000 studies documenting it, and the international agencies endorsing it, I thought, wow, you know, th this is just a gem that needs to be understood better so that, um, and it's the most important thing is that it's effortless. You can get all the nutrients that you need from these little tablets. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about them. The blue one is spirulina, mm -hmm. which we call beauty bits. And the green one, the darker green one is chlorella. That's just, um, that's, that's recovery bits. Yeah. So all you need to do to get the nutrients that your body and your skin and your brain need are swallow a handful of those, each of them in the morning. That's it. Yeah. No preparation, no grocery shopping, no cooking, no digesting. You, I mean, you can chew them if you want, but um, it's effortless inner beauty. Right? Yeah, I wanted to say that uh, I, I uh, enjoy chewing on your on your uh, little tablets. So yeah, I, I mean, chew that's, mine. I, I, and, yeah. And so, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I, I want to say, you know, a lot of people here at Young Goose, obviously, were famous for things like our NAD precursors or, in, you know, patented resveratrol or whatever. But, you know, on our day to day in, in R&D, um, as I've shared with you, our a lot of what we do is we look into into un un unutilized the benefits of certain algae. So definitely, I, I couldn't agree with you more that this is really where I believe, you know, on so many levels, that is an untapped uh, wellness source and resource that most people don't even don't even know how easy it is to to access those benefits and 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 obviously how more we can we can uh, benefit people by 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 obviously talking about it and 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 making it making it available right uh, to people yeah well and I try to help people understand that algae isn't new it's just new to you because. Mm -hmm. Um, as I mentioned, it's been used daily in Asia for 50 years. It's a multi-billion dollar agricultural crop there. It's mm -hmm. almost as big as the beef industry. And so, first of all, you need to know that algae is food. So here's a spirulina farm and here's a chlorella farm. So yeah, to anyone, anyone who's, who's only listening, you know, Catherine's just showing us how it looks like. Yeah. So it, it, there is algae in the ocean. It's um, it was the first life on Earth, and um, there's macroalgae, which is uh, that stringy stuff that washes up on shore, also known as dulse or seaweed or kelp. Um, mm -hmm. And and uh, seaweed has a lot of fiber and iodine because it comes from the ocean, but it has virtually no nutrition. You can eat a whole bag of kelp noodles and for five calories because there's virtually no nutrition in there. So that's macroalgae, but what we're talking about is called microalgae, which is microscopic in size. Mm -hmm. And something like a million of them could fit on the head of a pin. They're so, so wow. tiny. And they are everywhere. They are in the ocean, but also the lakes, the rivers, the streams, the soil, the aquarium. Um, and when you concentrate that much, those tiny little microscopic um, molecules, I guess, and put them into these tablets, then you start to understand why they're so concentrated mm -hmm. and the reality is your skin just like all of the other parts of your body your brain your heart your organs they're fed by your bloodstream 
And yeah. so you need to get nutrients into the, your bloodstream so that they can feed your, in this case, your skin. Your skin mm -hmm. is the largest organ of your body. And so <laughs> there are, it's very important to have topicals like yours that in, enhance and improve and support and protect the, um, uh, the skin layer, mm -hmm. but you also want to nourish it from the inside. And I'm Absolutely. going to show you for those who are watching each tablet that we have, and they're about the size of baby aspirin mm -hmm. has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. That's wow. using that quote from NASA that says one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of fruits and vegetables. And so when you ingest the tablets, which you know you swallow them or chew them i chew mine but most people do like to swallow the um the spirulina we have a brand called beauty bits yeah. um, it disperses to all of your cells and um you know there's a brand called um, i'm sure you know about uh, la mer mm -hmm. that's a very expensive cream and their secret ingredient is algae and I, I tell people, well, you know, that's that's you know great if you want to spend five hundred dollars for a small jar of mm -hmm. uh, face cream, but you're only getting an extract of algae number one, and you're only putting it on your face. Yeah. When you ingest the tablets, it goes to your face. It also goes to all of the rest of your body, um, as well as the, all of the rest of your organs, from your brain to your to your gut. So it's a much more efficient way to distribute the nutrients that your body needs to protect and restore um, and regrow your cells. Because as you know, our bodies um, and our cells, particularly in our skin, are constantly growing, right? They're yeah. constantly turning over. That's mm -hmm. why you ex exfoliate <laughs> to get rid of you know, the dead cells so that the fresh new cells can, can be more visible and they're usually... Uh, if you have your products and ours, uh, mm -hmm. they're going to be more vibrant and, and um, uh, taut. And you, you, knew, you need things like collagen and elastin to protect your skin. And um, I did some research and found out that algae has more collagen in it than collagen powder. Wow. So, um, because it has, it's a complete protein. Also, collagen powder is not. Um, mm -hmm. And it has, algae has 18 of the 20 aminos, including the nine your body can't make. Mm -hmm. um, and your your collagen is what fills in your your skin, right? It's I it's I it's sort of a, make the analogy of uh, sort of like um, uh, uh, um, fiberglass or something in, in a yeah. building. And your elastin is like the structure that mm -hmm. holds up your skin. And so, but your elastin can be damaged by free radicals or excess calcium, and so they collapse, and that contributes to uh, wrinkles. Yeah. But because the uh, spirulina and chlorella, particularly spirulina, has uh, antioxidants that aren't found in any other food like uh, superoxide dismutase, this protects your um, elastin because it protects it from being damaged by free radicals. And we can go into that if you want to um, sort of review some of the uh, complexity of yeah, I would, I would love to. Yeah, I, yeah. I would love to, especially, especially, you know, to comment on that. But I would would really want you to to ex expand on that. I would comment that you mentioned La Mer, uh, which is a product that really built its notoriety mainly. You know, fourteen years ago, it got no, sorry, twelve years ago, it got sold and lost a lot of its its concentrated properties because they needed to make more money to justify yeah. it but really it built its its notoriety on 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 marine extracts uh which we do as well but the this little known secret is most of the things that you apply on your skin are going to work much much better if your body if you're consuming a similar product well, uh, by the by really and we can yeah Wow. And we can go and we can go over and over and over again, but as the skin has a problem where it does not uh, do a very good job holding on to ingredients for a very long time, especially because it does turn over quite more rapidly than other than other cells in the body and, and for other reasons as well. Um, so when we are uh, feed, constantly feeding our body with, with, for example, microalgae. When we do use those extracts, especially extracts, because we have to do it in skincare, right? We, we really need very, very concise and concentrated products. When we do deliver those to the skin topically, 
and we see that if the body is kind of used to that signal already and, and contain those That's molecules. That's really interesting. Wow. There is, there is a, an amazing synergy. But I would really, I am very interested um, uh, to, to hear uh, how, those, how those specific antioxidants in, in, a, in algae contribute to, sure. to, to elastin. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's do it. Well, um, I'll just give you a quick little overview. Um, mm -hmm. Again, as I mentioned, spirulino and our brand uh, for the beauty industry is Beauty Energy Bits. Bits. Uh, beauty um, Bits, sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, Energy Bits is the same thing. But it, um, in, in uh, algae, all the amino acids are individual. Uh, this is mm -hmm. in contrast to collagen, which are in clusters of aminos mm -hmm. called peptides, yeah. which again is compared to animal protein, which is all bound up. Mm -hmm. And so um, the bound up, as, um, your body can't uh, use uh, protein. It has to break it down into aminos. And when you eat animal protein, it can take up to three days sometimes to break that down into those smaller aminos. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have all the nutrients to you know proceed with that process you don't get them all so mm -hmm. algae because all the aminos are individual it's very efficient way to get your protein so that's number one um, both both the spirulina and the chlorella um, have individual aminos the yeah. other interesting thing is they um, al both the algae but particularly chlorella have the highest chlorophyll in the world and what I'm showing you is a chemical composition that shows chlorophyll and your hemoglobin, the chemical composition are virtually identical. Mm -hmm. And the reason why this is important is because when you give your body chlorophyll, then you are, and we'll talk about the importance of chlorophyll in many ways, but it builds your blood. Yeah. And it's been used for centuries for that. Um, and when you have healthy blood, then you're going to have um, a, a healthier organs, healthier skin, because it's it also uh, increases the ability to hold uh, oxygen uh, and algae actually has the highest iron in the world. So, mm -hmm. and iron is what carries oxygen in your blood. So, so just from a raw nutrition perspective, the uh, availability of the protein and the fact that it has more collagen than collagen powder and the concentrated chlorophyll, it's so concentrated, it has 500 times more chlorophyll than arugula and wow. even has 25 times more chlorophyll than liquid chlorophyll. And <laughs> Liquid chlorophyll had a big moment on TikTok last year, um, uh, and I tell people, well, why would you take liquid chlorophyll when you can get 25 times more when you take chlorella algae, yeah. plus you get 60% protein and 40 other vitamins and minerals, so it gives you the full, um, the full solution, not just chlorophyll. And our vegetables don't have any chlorophyll in them anymore anyways. That's why your arugula goes yellow after um, three days, but yeah. um, very, very concentrated nutrition. But let's dig into the um, individual behaviors because spirulina, which again, we refer to as our beauty bits, has um, these two powerful nutrients that aren't found in any other food. One is um, called uh, superoxide dismutase, which is an antioxidant, also known as SOD. And there's 25,000 studies documenting the efficacy of superoxide dismutase for preventing just about any kind of health condition from heart disease to Alzheimer's. And spirulina also has two pigments in it. Uh, it's called a blue-green algae because there's a blue pigment and also, which is called phycocyanin, and a green pigment, which is chlorophyll. And those two um, are very powerful antioxidants that stop free radical damage. Mm -hmm. So um, the way, the reason why um, there's so many, so much free radical damage is because um, as we get older, our bodies um, stop making some of these antioxidants that have been protecting us. The three main ones are melatonin, superoxidismutase, glutathione, and then the fourth one, which um, we'll talk about in a minute, is chlorophyll. But of course, your body doesn't make chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. But since the moment you're born, your body makes those um, until the age of 30. And then once you hit the age of 30, uh, the glutathione, melatonin, and superoxidismutase stops, starts dropping mm -hmm. and drops and drops and plummets until by the time you're 60 or older, maybe sometimes even be, before then, you don't have any. Yeah. This is why um, uh, older people have a hard time sleeping because they don't have any melatonin left. A glutathione is, a, um, is an antioxidant that protects your mitochondria, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, mm -hmm. um, and it pulls out the toxins. And then superoxidismutase... Um, is the powerful antioxidant that stops free radical damage. And spirulina, 
like our beauty bits has the highest superoxidantase in the world. So wow. I want to walk you through what's happening. Why um, the you? Well, let me back up. Your mitochondria are what protect you from just about everything. They're the little organelles in your cells that generate energy, cellular energy, mm-hmm. and cellular energy is what um, is allows you to do everything. It um, allows your body to. Um, process food, to digest, to think, to sleep, to walk, to have cellular turnover, whether it's on your skin or anywhere. And so when your mitochondria are damaged, they're not functioning optimally. So nothing works very well, Mm -hmm. and including your cellular renewal. So you need to protect your mitochondria. And there's two ways to do that. One is to reduce the damage of the mitochondria or reduce the free radicals that are being um, released during mm-hmm. um, the process of generating of energy ATP. production. Yeah. Uh, and the other one is to get rid of them. So um, uh, the, the first way, which is to reduce the number of free radicals, can be easily achieved by just changing your diet. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, it, uh, it seems that carbs, processed carbs, generate the most free radicals. So the yeah. best way to improve your skin, I when I see someone, I see someone with lots of wrinkles, I can almost guarantee they're eating a lot of sugar because mm-hmm. sugar causes a lot of free radicals, which causes a lot of damage to your mitochondria, which damages your skin. So if you just change your diet and reduce it, reduce the processed carbs, you'll be helping your skin in so many ways, not to mention your health. So you don't have to do, do a keto diet, but if you want to, you could, but certainly just get rid of your carbs because when you reduce your carb load, you are reducing the free radicals that are mm-hmm. being produced. And this, the second way is to do fasting or um, uh, pr- use algae because both algae and fasting produce virtually no free radicals. So when there's no wow. free radicals, then your mitochondria are being protected. Um, the other way is to remove the free radicals. And normally you'd say, well, that's what antioxidants are for. Things like blueberries and vitamin E and vitamin C. But the problem is your mitochondria have two membranes um, that pre- that prevent virtually any antioxidants from getting in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are a few that can get in there. Glutathione is one, melatonin is one, superoxidismutase, and chlorophyll. Those can get into the inner membrane to stop the free radical damage. So let me walk you through what's really happening. Here in your cell, you have your nucleus, and there's 22,000 um uh, DNA in your nucleus. And then mm-hmm. you have all these little mitochondria in your cells. And the mitochondria is where your ATP is produced, okay? But as, as everyone remembers from like 10th grade, the powerhouse of the cell. The powerhouse of the cell, that's right. But yeah. the problem is um, inside that mitochondria is where, well, first of all, the ATP is produced there. But mm-hmm. what they don't, you don't know is that a byproduct of ATP production are free radicals. Mm-hmm. And your mitochondria have their own DNA, and they're located right inside the mitochondria, right beside where the ATP is being produced. So as you make ATP, you're making free radicals. And if you've ever sat by a bonfire or a fireplace and you got too close and sparks would fly, you might get burned, right? So yeah. that's exactly what's happening to your mitochondria DNA. They're exactly where the ATP and the free radicals are being produced. So they're getting damaged all the time. Yeah. That's why it's so important to reduce the, the amount of free radicals or to remove them. And yeah. so we've already talked about how to reduce them, which is to get off uh, processed foods and sugar. And to remove them is a harder solution because there's a second membrane in that mitochondria that prevents most antioxidants from getting in there. But the good news is there's those four that I mentioned, glutathione, melatonin, superoxidinitase, and chlorophyll. Algae has the highest concentration of three of them in the world, glutathione, superoxidinitase, and chlorophyll. So now they can get in there and stop the free radical damage Mm -hmm. so that your mitochondria won't be um, destroyed. And the reason why you want to protect your mitochondria DNA is because they control all the communications with all the other cells, with your other DNA, uh, with everything. And when your mitochondria DNA get damaged, then cellular communication is reduced. Um, they, your mitochondria die more frequently 
the, your mitochondria DNA only lasts three, 10 to 30 days. Your regular DNA lasts a lifetime. Yeah. So you can see why there's a, an issue here. So we're so happy because I did lab tests to find out that spirulina has the highest glutathione in the world, or sorry, wow. the highest superoxide dismutase in the world. Yeah. And what does superoxide dismutase do? Well, it turns the free radicals into water. It's like having your own fireman in there, hosing <laughs> down the, putting out the fire, which is literally what's happening. Free radicals are like, is inflama cause inflammation, which is yeah. basically a quiet uh, fire inside your body. And that inflammation is what leads to any kind of cellular damage, whether it's in your brain, your heart, or your skin. So because superoxidismutase um, has the ability to, to put out the fire, now you're getting your skin um, being restored. There's a vibrancy. Your collagen will, um, will grow faster. Your elastin is protected. And the great thing about our, our bodies are is that we, we can constantly regenerate our cells. Mm -hmm. So um, I tell people it's never too late to feel great. And so the spirulina um, particularly helps you with that because of this, um, this high amount of superoxidismutase. Yeah, and I, I would add to that, you know, uh, again, anyone who's interested in, in um, re, you know, going, going, uh, aging backwards or, or trying to uh, delete some of the, uh, the, the marks of the passage of time, if you would, it, all of those more um, impactful procedures really rely on your mitochondria, whether it is, you know, a skincare product or whether it is going in a hyperbaric chamber or being in front of a red light therapy or, I mean, we can, uh, you know, going into a sauna, whatever that is, you really are limited. The points of diminishing, the point of diminishing returns or, or plastic surgery, microneedling, whatever that may be, any stress you're applying on, this, on the body and the skin in order for it to really rebound and become better, stronger, healthier, younger, et cetera, really relies on mitochondrial function. And any one of those scenarios, what you can see is if your mitochondria cannot handle that amount of of, of stimulation, of stress, you're going to get adverse effects rather than the effects that you wanted. And we really can see it everywhere. There are so many stories about people getting lasers done and becoming more pigmented, people going wow. into uh, an infrared sauna and they're, they cannot detox well and their mitochondria cannot really handle that amount of, of, of burden, of stress, and they actually become, uh, you know, f they feel bad from it. Yeah. Uh, hyperbaric and some negative effects there. So I think really the that's the most basic, you know, um, maintenance procedure anyone needs to do, if, even if they're interested in, in something completely different, if they're interested in their hair, uh, hair quality, nail quality, if they don't wanna have achy knees or whatever that may be. Yeah, well, um, fortunately, mitochondria is starting to um, be understood by consumers. It, it's been under the radar for so long. <clears throat> the scientific community has been well aware of it for decades. But, you know, I tell people, you know, we know more about how our cell phone works than our body. And so <laughs> if you start to understand how your body functions, it's less frightening, number one. And then now you have a roadmap to understand what you need to do. And if you, because if you don't have a roadmap, um, you could end up making choices that um, are, as you said, you know, less helpful than, yeah. than they're supposed to be. Um, also, you could, the algae, we're working with the cryotherapy, the red light therapy, the biohacking community, um, because the algae up levels everything. Just to take cryotherapy as an example, when you're in cryotherapy, um, all, because it's cold, all your blood rushes to the core because your body thinks it's dying and it wants to protect the most important parts of your body. Um, so if you take the spirulina before the cryotherapy treatment, which is what we encourage, mm -hmm. and because spirulina is a bacteria, has no cellulose wall, so it gets absorbed instantly. While all that blood is in the core, it's being very nourished with all these concentrated nutrients, superoxidismutase, glutathione, the, you know, the, the protein, um, and also, Part of what happens when you're in that state is that your body um, kicks into something called autophagy, uh, yeah. which is a process by which um, sort of cells that need to be uh, cleaned out that are basically dead get cleaned out. I, I tell people it's sort of autophagy and, and apoptosis, which is programmed cell death. It's sort of 
um, it's it, you want that program cell death. It's like mm -hmm. when someone retires and program cell death is like a cell going, well, I, I've been, it's been a great ride. You know, thanks for having me. I'm going to divvy up all of my projects to the younger generation. Good luck. I'm, I'm out of here. And yeah. that's what you want. So in, uh, when you're in the cryotherapy, you get apoptosis and autophagy. And because the, if the spirulina is there, it's just, be, it facilitates that process. It up levels it by, uh, you know, 50 times. Um, the, uh, the, and, and then, so when you come out of the cryotherapy, now all the blood rushes back to the rest of your extremities, carrying all these rich nutrients to the rest of your body. Uh, and so then after the cryotherapy is when we recommend someone take the chlorella, because we haven't really talked about it yet, but it's a yeah. detoxing algae. It pulls out all heavy metals, uh, chemicals, pesticides. And so it's kind of like the cleanup crew. So if you, after you've stepped out of the cryotherapy and your body's released all these toxins and dead cells, you want to get rid of them because you don't want them hanging around. So that's what chlorella will, will pull those out and leave you very, very clean and refreshed. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't need the cryotherapy to do that, but certainly facilitates that process. Um, so the two of them work very, very much hand in hand. Um, because you and back to the sort of apoptosis and uh, autophagy, those are the natural stages that your body's constantly going through. That's part of the cellular uh, regeneration. But if, you, if it's not happening, what happens is your cells, if you've got damaged mitochondria, they, um, they eventually they um, expand and then they, they explode. Yeah. <laughs> they literally explode. It's a process called necrosis. And in that process, what happens is all that those inflammatory molecules that have caused it to expand and explode spill out to the rest of your cells. This is the process of cancer. This is why cancer moves so quickly because it's going through that explosive process. And the blue pigment that's in spirulina, by the way, is used by the chemotherapy um, community because it's been proven to kill cancer cells. Mm -hmm. So it leaves all the healthy cells alone, but it's shown to, uh, to do that. So, so they're very, very healing algae, the spirulina particularly because of the protection it offers the mitochondria from the superoxidismase, not to mention all the great protein and collagen that naturally builds your skin and hair. And then the chlorella, which I haven't really talked much about, um, it's the wellness, healing, detoxing algae. Mm -hmm. And it, it attaches the toxins that I'd mentioned before, but it also has really cool nutrients in it, like vitamin K2. Um, vitamin K2 is uh, a vitamin that almost everyone is deficient in. And what it does is it pulls excess calcium out of soft tissue, like your skin, mm -hmm. your brain, um, your, your uh, heart, your blood vessels, and moves it into your um, bones. Because if you have too much excess calcium, it damages the, the structure of the cell. Yeah. Um, even with heart disease, arteriosclerosis is hardening of the arteries. And what's hardening is, the, is calcium. And it does the same thing in your skin. So because chlorella has the K, daily requirement of K2, uh, and you can't get K2 from any other food other than grass-fed animal uh, beef, or mm -hmm. animal protein, uh, or there's a Japanese dish called natto, yeah. uh, which most Americans don't like, uh, but you can get it from the um, from the chlorella. So uh, it works very you know, much hand in hand, and it also has the highest concentration of that antioxidant called glutathione, another one that can get into that inner membrane of the mitochondria to uh, stop the free radical damage. So the two of them work as, in partnership um, to yeah. help with the skin so and with your body. Yeah, absolutely. So how would someone who wants to improve their skin specifically, their skin health, um, would incorporate whether it is the chlorella um, or the what we call beauty bits? Are, is the chlorella called energy bits? bits uh, or The chlorella is recovery bits because it helps bits, recover sorry. from your health, it recover from aging, recover mm -hmm. from sports, recover from drinking because it pulls out alcohol as well. <laughs> so, uh, so generally, you know, most people are hungry in the morning. Um, and tired and they want some energy. And so, you know, whether it's um, Beauty Bits or we have another brand called Energy Bits, they're both spirulina. Um, the mm -hmm. reason we have two is because um, I started the company because my sister and so women's health has always been a priority for me. And yeah. women just didn't like the packaging of the Energy Bits. So I, made a, <laughs> so I have a girl spirulina and a boy spirulina. Got you. Yeah, the, the, 
the uh, other one is um, is blue. But mm -hmm. generally, um, you know, your beauty routine is, well, you have a morning and an evening routine. So I would say in, for your beauty routine in the morning, as you're getting ready for your day, take 10 of these tablets. They're again, the size of a baby aspirin. Mm -hmm. You can have more if you want. If you took 30, it'd be like a meal replacement. There's one calorie per tablet, 64% um, protein, 40 vitamins and minerals, um, zero carbs. It's ketogenic, vegan, keto, um, carnivore, uh, paleo. It meets every <laughs> single dietary requirement. So you know, take 10 in the morning of the beauty bits to, as you start your day, um, it'll give you a little lift mentally, physically, and it will start nourishing your skin from the inside. And then as you get ready for bed, um, take 10 of the chlorella tablets, um, mm -hmm. because these will, um, nourish your body with chlorophyll. Most people don't know this, but your body goes through a detox repair cycle when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. So if you take the chlorella at night before bed, that's when you're going to help your body uh, cleanse, repair, pull out toxins. Uh, again, you could take more. I, I, I hesitate to tell people, but I probably have about 100 a day and have for the last 13 years. You're not, I'm not suggesting anyone take that much. I just happen to love them. By the uh -huh. way, when you do take them daily, your grocery bills will go down. You you won't need as many products other than you, you know young goose, of course. You <laughs> want to be sure uh, you have those on your countertop as well. But um, they they and they travel so well. We have a little travel size that you can toss in your handbag. Yeah, um, the travel size for me is really what saves me. Like when we're on on an airplane and I'm tempted to eat some kind of uh, meal number four on American right? Airlines or something. Right. Um, yeah, so definitely. And there's 30 tablets in the little pouch, but you, you could have yeah. the whole pouch or 10, whatever seems to work for you. Um, they're safe for all ages, children, teenagers, pets, grandparents. Uh, so you don't have to worry about um, them, you know, having any kind of interactions. It's just food. It's ingestible yeah. beauty, beauty from the inside. Um, are there are are there any groups that are the, or people that are particular that could particularly benefit from including um, algae in their diet. How, how about like uh, pe people who are dealing with specific skin issues like acne, rosacea, you know, signs of aging we kind of covered, but um, anyone specific? Yeah, um, well, it helps with everything. It's very alkaline. And so um, breakouts are off are caused by mm -hmm. bacteria. Yeah. So um, this will um, chlorophyll kills bacteria. People don't know this, but all water treatment plants in North America process the water through algae because it kills bacteria mm -hmm. when, back, when algae shows up on your beach it's because some somehow toxins and bacteria were there and so the algae is the cleanup crew um, it gets blamed but it's the cleanup crew it's the same mm -hmm. thing in your body it, it cleans up whatever uh, bacteria is around so um, I've had friends my yoga instructors Pilates instructors of people just suddenly I noticed their skin is not um, is breaking out um, for whatever reason. Sometimes it's hormonal, uh, dietary, uh, uh, environmental toxins. Um, I put them on mostly the spirulina is the bit is I, I is a great place to always start. That's the, the beauty bits. Um, and when you have a condition of any kind, whether it's um, skin issues or um, heart or you're trying to lose weight, you should be doubling or tripling the amount um, on a daily yeah. basis until you get a clear diagnosis of whatever it is. Um, but and again, why I like trying to, to get everyone to start on the spirulina is because literally every sing, there's not a single person in the world of any age group who would not benefit from it. Um, and it does it has no interactions with absolutely anything. The chlorella, because it pulls out toxins and because some medications and drugs have metals in them, like, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, um, vaccines, we just suggest you take the chlorella maybe two hours away from mm -hmm. any medications, just in case it pulls, if there's metals in there, I don't, I'm not necessarily sure, but, but spirulina is not, you never run into that. So, um, it, breakouts, um, brown spots, uh, wrinkles, like we're not going to give you crazy, you know, <laughs> promises that you're going to look like a 12 year old, but, um, you know, I'm an example. I, I, I actually have no wrinkles and for my age is, is um, amazing. And I don't do any Botox or anything. I just, 
I just take this stuff every day and have for 13 years. Wow. So it, it really does work. Um, and you may take it for your skin, but you're going to find out you're going to have more energy or maybe you'll take it for um, to pull out toxins, but you'll have fewer wrinkles. It's just so whatever purpose you have in mind, it, it's a one stop shop that gives you uh, a full range of benefits. And it's just food. It's uh, very concentrated, efficient. Uh, effortless again the effortless if you can swallow water you can get the nourishment that you need and we need nourishment for our bodies and our skin to be um, to reach their optimal stage and our food supply just doesn't provide it any longer it doesn't matter yeah. what you eat or how and who wants to spend all day cooking and, and eating <laughs> there's other things to do right <laughs> yeah yeah uh, I mean you know going going more into that um, those effects that that are met that are, that are visible could you could you kind of try to remember 13 years ago when you started consuming algae what kind of effects did you see or feel uh from your personal experience yeah well um i experienced it and we've also had um guys who work for us although right now it's all women uh <laughs> your hair will grow faster and thicker mm -hmm. um i was pretty stressed as a founder of a startup and my, I, my hair was thinning mm -hmm. and um, the combination, I mean, your hair is, is, um, is, is made of a protein keratin. Mm -hmm. And so my hair started filling in again. And we, we found the guys who were, who used to work for us, they had to get haircuts twice as often because their hair wow. was growing so fast. Um, so that, that was pretty cool. Um, and I just noticed, uh, ne not necessarily on my skin, but my energy just improved. Um, stress is also a big killer of energy um, yeah. and it damages, it releases uh, chemicals that also um, inhibit the functioning of your mitochondria. And so now I was nourishing my mitochondria. And so my, my energy levels came back. Um, I have the energy of a 30 year old and I'm more than twice that age. So um, nobody can believe how old I am because I, I look pretty, I mean, for my age, I look pretty good and, and my hair, it's all mine and there's no extensions and it's pretty long. <laughs> um, I can it's, attest to that though, uh, hanging out with you in, in, in uh, Sedona, uh, or sorry, in Arizona, I can definitely attest to your energy levels. So it's, it's not, it's, and it's not, um, a stimulant. The energy you get, um, is at the cellular level and yeah. I, Again, I tell people it's it's um, uh, cellular energy is like money. The more money you have, the more choices you have, and the more you can do. And same with cellular energy. And to help people understand the difference between the two algae, because I you know I speak at a lot of conferences at hotels, I, it occurred to me that you know spirulina because it's so nourishing is like room service. You know, it gives you everything <laughs> you need to start your day. And chlorella, which cleans out all the junk in your trunk, is like housekeeping. So mm -hmm. the two of them work so beautifully together and who doesn't want room service and housekeeping every day, right? <laughs> exactly. Together they're their hospitality industry. So um, yeah, uh, absolutely. So, uh, you know, in addition to the, the uh, being uh, beneficial for health, um, algae in general is also described as being eco-friendly as, as, a, as a food uh, source. Um, and you kind of started with that. You showed us some some images of of, um, of of growing farms. Could you talk a bit about the sustainability aspect of uh, consuming algae or algae in general? Sure. Well, if anyone has an interest in supporting the earth, the best way to do that is certainly by consuming algae. Yeah. Even the Netflix movie Seaspiracy, which was a movie focused on how the fishing industry, commercial fishing industry is damaging and destroying the oceans. Twice they said the answer to saving the oceans is to eat more algae. And mm -hmm. the reason why is because algae has three times the amount of protein as fish, number one. So if you want protein, you can get it from algae. Number mm -hmm. two, some of the overfishing is for the omega-3 that's found in fish and they turn that into fish oil. But I remind people, well, where do you think the fish get the omega-3 from? They get it from algae. So you can save the oceans and yourself because most fish oil actually goes rancid by the time yeah. you, you get it because of the oxidation. So that's number one. But um, the um, extent, to, well, this is also why the U United Nations is so supportive of algae. A, it has the highest protein for the food 
needs, but it's the most eco-friendly sustainable crop in the world. So number one, um, most people think the Amazon rainforests are what provide most of the oxygen on earth and it's actually algae. It's mm -hmm. algae provides 80% of the oxygen on earth. So um, supporting the algae industry is supporting um, the oxygen on earth. Um, when you grow algae, you get 200 times more protein per acre than you do from cattle farming. And there is zero waste, zero, Wow. <laughs> nothing. Um, when you grow algae, it's uh, grown in water. And um, because it kills bacteria, you can just reuse the water over and over and over wow. again. So, and it already uses a third of the water that a traditional crop like corn or um, wheat would, and then you can reuse it. Um, so that's pretty cool. And the real, I don't know if people know this, but I think 80% of the aqua, the water from our aquifers uh, go to agricultural crops. Uh, and um, so we're draw, we're, we're, losing our aquifers uh, mm -hmm. it's a big problem in colorado arizona california i mean they're they don't have any water anymore and they're they're putting a stop on in arizona i read a big news um article about they're stopping the uh expansion of a lot of home projects because they have to show that they're going to have mm -hmm. water because they're running out of water so algae reuses the water and uses a third in, in, in the beginning also when you have a crop like corn or wheat, which frankly provides virtually no nutritional value and it's inflammatory and it's yeah. a carb, um, you get one crop a year, right? Algae takes uh, a month to grow and then it's two weeks to dry it and two weeks to package it in the, in the facility. Mm -hmm. You can do 10 crops of algae per year, not wow. one, wow. 10 with no waste. Well, and you're throwing oxygen into the air, no, no biomass, uh, you can feed large numbers of people with maximum amount of protein and, and uh, nutrients. I mean, it's just, it's, it's almost insane that we aren't already growing algae everywhere. And if I do my job right and start to help people understand the benefits of algae, um, I certainly plan to grow it here. I'm going to grow it in Florida, which has a similar climate as Taiwan, which is where we grow it now. I drew a line across the earth mm -hmm. and found out. Um, that's where the, it needs a subtropical environment. But um, honestly, uh, algae is the answer to so many things. People don't know. Uh, I, I subscribe, obviously, to all these algae newsletters, but it was um, it, it, it generates so much energy. There's a, there are buildings in Europe um, where they have glass panes on all four sides of the building. And in the glass is water and algae. And I don't know wow. how they do it, but they algae is the fastest growing organism in the world. They tap the energy from the cells dividing to to power the buildings. Wow. And crazy, crazy. Even IKEA, uh, the big f furniture company, and I think it's in Sweden or Norway, they even create these algae homes. It's uh, in, in Asia, they have rooms where algae is growing in the walls because it releases so much oxygen and it's so polluted. And I think in Shanghai, you mm -hmm. pay a fee to go in there and just breathe the oxygen because wow. it's, it's so ox <laughs> There's a company in in uh, England that just won a prize from the Prince William has a big um, he has a, a nonprofit called the Earthshot and they reward five companies every year for developing pr um, products and processes that will help the Earth and this company won uh, and it was actually the prize was given here in Boston which is where I'm based and hmm. the company is called Nopla and they've developed a whole line of packaging made of algae. So wow. yeah, their packaging is for water bottles, condiments. So you can drink your water bottle and, and eat it if you want. And if you don't eat it, it will, it will uh, um, uh, dissipate in 25 days. Plastic takes, I think, 25 years or 250 years, some crazy amount of years. Mm -hmm. But because the bottle is made of algae, um, it will, it will just um, deteriorate in 25 days. So the, the things that are going on without they've developed a vaccine for COVID from algae. It's a nose spray because I didn't mention, but this, that blue pigment in spirulina called phycocyanin, it uh, prevents the COVID virus from entering your um, ACE2 receptor cells, which is how the COVID virus gets mm -hmm. in. And it's, and most of those are in your nose. I mean, I could sit here and, and just run off a thousand things that algae can do that most people have no idea about. Um, but around the world, 
there's pockets in Spain and Portugal and Greece and England and certainly in Asia. And that's why there's 200,000 studies that document all the benefits of it. But these scientific papers and discoveries just haven't made their way out into the public. Um, yeah. I'm the first person that I'm aware of uh, that's trying to help educate North Americans about this gorgeous, undiscovered gift to us from Mother Nature, um, because people don't even know that spirulina, they've heard of spirulina, maybe they've heard of chlorella, but they don't even know that it's algae. They think of algae as yeah. just something that, you know, poses their favorite beach. Um, and I'm going to close by showing you something that's really cool um, and explains why the nutrients in algae are so perfectly aligned with the needs of your mitochondria. So remember at the very beginning, I said that algae was the first life on earth and was spirulina, yes. which is called a cyanobacteria. Well, before this cyanobacteria showed up on earth, earth was just gas and water. There was no oxygen and there was no life, mm -hmm. zero. Nobody knows why this first small anaerobic cell started growing, but it did, and it was a cyanobacteria. And it generated uh, ATP and released oxygen as a byproduct. Yeah. So after a billion years, there was now a lot of oxygen on Earth because that was the process of ATP. So now aerobic cells started growing on Earth, but now the small anaerobic cell wasn't doing as well because it did better when there wasn't any oxygen. So I tell people, well, I can imagine the conversation going like this. The big cell says to the little cell, hey, little guy, I see you're struggling there with all this oxygen. How about you join forces with us? You can make ATP for us and we'll protect you from all the oxygen. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened. The anaerobic cell got absorbed by the bigger aerobic cell, but instead of being digested, it just had to put a membrane around it and it became mm -hmm. mitochondria, cyanobacteria. Yeah became mitochondria. It's documented in science, evolutionary science, in a process called endosymbiotic theory. And you can Google that. It's all in PubMed. So this explains why your mitochondria have two membranes and why most other antioxidants can't get in there. That original membrane that's on the inside was left over from when it was an anaerobic cell by itself. And then it got absorbed by the bigger cell that put the lipid membrane around it. But mm -hmm. drugs can't get in there, most antioxidants can't get in there, but almost everything that's in algae can. And yeah. it's because it's the same genesis, right? Yeah, and to, to your point, that's why it has a different my, a DNA. So your, your mitochondria right. has a separate DNA from the rest of your body. That's right. That's why light can affect it, even though obviously there is no not a lot of light that can get to all into all of our cells because they're in, inside our body. But but that's but why they react. Can. Yeah, exactly. That's why yeah. they react to red and near infrared light. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. finally, finally, uh, what is the future of energy bits? What's the uh, oh, yeah. what are the new products or initiatives on the horizon that um, your customers and, and everyone who's listening can look forward to? Well, we're still very, very small. So we're staying close to our core mm -hmm. products, which are the tablets, because so few people still know about us. And there's such chronic disease that yeah. can be um, eliminated or certainly reduced if we can get people the proper nutrition and remove the toxins. So I'm not, we don't have the breadth to be able to start launching other products, although I do have some up my sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, my goal is to build a, you know, to, you know, 10 years ago, nobody knew about collagen powder and then vital proteins, you know, got it out on the map. So we're a premium product. So we're not going to be in Costco or any of those other places. We're yeah. only sold in, you know, doctor's offices, biohacking. You know, we also we got into Neiman Marcus recently. Um, so Congratulations. We're there. Thank you. So, um, but my job is to get algae on the mark in the marketplace get people understanding um what it does how it works for you establish us as the leader um, so that we can help more people and then my longer term plan is to grow it here in america that will take a good 10 million dollars to make that happen and eventually i'd like to create my uh something i'm calling the algae academy i mm -hmm. want to provide very concentrated uh, certification on algae nutrition because, and I'm in the process of 
you know, trying to get, do a TED talk and write a book. And it's all to inform people that none of this is smoke and mirrors. It's just straight science about how your body functions and what it needs to function optimally and what algae contains that addresses all the issues that you have. Um, so it, it's just helping to people to understand the story of how the two of them are really so tightly entwined. And um, I don't, and there's so much science about it, but no one's made it accessible. Um, so that's one of the things I'm trying to do. Um, so yeah. it's just getting out there and speaking more and and uh, um, bringing this to the the mainstream so they can understand how easy and effortless it can be to nourish your body and your family um, with uh, LG tablets. Absolutely. And we have, we have a discount code um, did, uh, for your listeners if they come to our website, energybits.com. I think we were going to do um, YGS uh, as a 20% discount code. Yeah, 20% discount code. We're going to have it obviously in the show notes um, and attached to the stories that we're going to that we're going to come out with uh, on Instagram uh, for this podcast. But yeah, I mean, I love your products. Uh, obviously, uh, when I when I came came to you with the idea to come on our podcast, it was because this podcast is really designed, even though it's called it's by Young Goose, right? It's by a skincare company and logic, you know, uh, capitalistic logic uh, says that we should tell uh, the person listening to us that we're the silver bullet and all they need is to use our products to <laughs> look, you know, fill in the blank. What we really are trying to do here is to improve the end results of using our products, which is improve. If we're the artist, we're, we're trying to improve the canvas, right? And right. Uh, again, I, like I, I love your, your products. Um, I love your energy and, and what you're trying to do and your mission. And uh, we're, we're in, in it for the ride. So, so yeah. Catherine, thank you so much for the time you gave us today. Well, and thank, I thank you. We'll get you some more products so you can stay as young and youthful and energetic as you are now forever. I, I have a you know selfish motive. I I don't want to be the only one hitting a hundred. Me, me and Dave Astry. Maybe. <laughs> so if we get more people taking this, I'll have more. I'll have more buddies when I'm older too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So so Catherine, again, I I, you know, if I think it's important. As a side note, it's important for me um, when I decide to get something or not, I want to know who I'm giving my money to. And, uh, you know, I couldn't think of anyone better. So I, I super appreciate your your oh, well, time, you. what you're doing. And I wish you continued success and obviously much more. Thank you. Well, we're we're uh, we're I'm looking forward to seeing you again. We see each other quite a bit and yeah. uh, we're on the same path. So. Um, we just want to help other people um, join the parade, right? <laughs> Amen. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us and have a great rest of your day. Before we end today's episode, I'm going to take some time to answer some listener questions. So the first question is, uh, what are the summer skincare essentials? So um, to be concise and to make sure that, that we give you really the essentials, I'd start with a cleanser. Um, obviously in the summer we're, we're outside a lot and we're exposed to um, different uh, pollutants that also travel uh, more during the summer. So that's very, very important to use our adaptogenic cleanser. Um, I believe it's probably the most important uh, single product if, if, if you would uh, look at it from this angle. It also fortifies the skin to, to, to prevent a lot of the accumulation of, of um, pollutants and and really helps deal with with um, with irritants from the environment. The second would be vitamin C, um, and that is something that you can find in our Pro Care Serum, Care Moisturizer, and Bio C Peptide Spray. And obviously, the third one is our Bio Shield SPF 40, since it protects us from UV radiation. Uh, and if we're staying a lot in, indoors because it's very hot, it protects us from uh, uh, blue light, e it helps deal with EMF, and obviously it uh, shields us from pollution as well. Uh, the second question, or yeah, the second question is how does care NAD boosting moisturizer work? I'm pr particularly interested in understanding the role of NAD in skin health and how this moisturizer helps boost it. So we actually have two different podcasts uh, talking about NAD and skin health. But I would just say that um, Care NAD Boosting Moisturizer 
uh, uses an, um, a specific uh, patented complex that is called NAD Noble. Uh, we used to call it NR Noble. Now we're, we're calling it NAD Noble, just so more people understand what we're talking about. But these are, so NAD is a huge molecule that's designed that is fueling repair processes in the body. It lowers with age. By the time we're 60 years old, we have about half of what we started with. And um, that is a culprit of a lot of what aging is because aging really is the accumulation of un unrepaired damage. So obviously lack of NAD drives that whole process and an abundance of NAD can really help the skin deal with skin aging, improve skin appearance, and also ameliorate some of the uh, effects of, of uh, passage of time and environmental stressors, etc. Um, NAD as a molecule is too big to absorb into the skin, and even if it would have absorbed into the skin, the skin the skin cells have no idea what to do with it since they, it's not naturally absorbed through the skin and not naturally exists in this environment and exi it exists only in the cell. So what we do do is we speak the skin's language. We use precursors such as NR, NMN nicotinic acid, which is niacin, tryptophan, we nanosize them and we use a lipid, a liposomal delivery system to really mimic how the body delivers those building blocks of NAD um, in, naturally to the skin when you're, you know, at the peak of your youth. Um, and we are able to replenish NAD levels uh, to its, to their most optimal form like that. Uh, so that is very unique. It's 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 a patent that's called NAD Plus Noble, and that's how Care NAD Plus Boosting Moisturizer uh, raises NAD levels. Um, it also has uh, nine other supporting ingredients that really capitalize on that abundance of NAD to stimulate repair, resilience, and um, fight aging. So the third question that we have today, um, I've heard a lot about microneedling as an effective method or skin rejuvenation. Could you talk about uh, a bit about this treatment and if it's beneficial for all skin types? So first of all, we have microneedling that someone would do at home and in office. There's a beautiful episode with Daniela uh, uh, that that we talk about that. Um, but microneedling really is a way to uh, create control damage in the skin and signal renewal because our skin doesn't necessarily know laxity or wrinkles or pigmentation is an issue. We need to stimulate rejuvenation, renewal for the skin to go and really rebuild itself better, thicker, stronger, tighter, etc. So that's why, why microneedling is there. It, you know, it's, I, we think it's a good idea to do it at home and to do it in office because the ability to create controlled in injury in office is greater than at home. Um, but then obviously we need to support that with, we mentioned NAD and other uh, nutrients and building blocks that we use in our products. Uh, Bioretinol could really help get the most out of uh, microneedling, especially if we're doing it at home. Uh, so that is a little bit about microneedling. You can find more through the episode I had with Daniela and uh, in general, highly recommend to look more into it. And it is beneficial beneficial for all skin types. Um, but yeah, so remember, uh, if you'd like your question to be answered on the podcast, you can leave your question in a review, either on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, etc. And we'll make sure to address it in our next episode or in an episode that, that feels appropriate for that. Uh, but thank you very much for joining us on this journey to of discovery uh, in the world of biohacking beauty. And until next time, uh, take care and have a great rest of your day.